Hello and welcome back to Darling Reacts. My name is Wendy and right now I'm going to be reacting to uh, something I'm not sure people today, unless they're maybe over 70 or over 80 even remember, which is Esther Williams. Uh, she starred in a whole series of musicals, which it sounds very improbable. We're like musicals, except they were set in water, like in pools. So imagine if you took like a synchronized swimming group, right? And you decided to like do a whole musical with them. Um, not that the musical would have a lot of plot, but um, just imagine that. Um, and, and also imagine that you're shooting the musical from like looking up and and then seeing them in the pool. It's kind of hard to describe. So I'm just gonna play the video um, with a brief preface that um, this is a clip from Million Dollar Mermaid, which is from 1952, which I think makes it 72, no, sorry, 78 years old. Um, and um, enjoy and I'll, um, I'll stop it a couple times or at least uh, talk uh, a couple times while it's playing. I think it's a curtain, but no, it's water. Are you ready? <sighs> Could you even dream this stuff? Oh my God. Look at those swimsuits. What? What? Oh, and then meanwhile, okay, here come all the girls. What? What are they water skiing? How are they doing that? How are they standing up on a? Is that actually a slide? Oh my God! How does that work? Okay, so check out all the women are are laid out here, and they're on their backs treading water, and they all look alike in every way. Now they're joining up with the men. Oh, look at all these incredibly healthy people. Oh, what's happening? There you go. How? How did she do that? How did they, any of them do that? Here she comes. One thing specially developed for Esther Williams, waterproof makeup. So, this was before synchronized swimming was a thing, I mean as a sport, but this was something that not only was in musicals, but you would see, I know, at the 1939 World's Fair. Is this real? I mean, I know it is, but... Oh... What? This is real too? How big was the studio? What? Okay, Busby Berkeley must have been jealous of this stuff. What? What? Wait. They're actually diving. So they're doing trapeze and then they're diving, but they have to all dive like perfectly. Oh, and there she is. Oh my god! Um, she in fact was a championship swimmer uh, before she became a movie star. I don't know if she was in the Olympics, but she was definitely recognized as an amazing swimmer and really beautiful and clearly extremely talented. Because this isn't just swimming. Oh my god! She isn't going to- I bet she is. Okay, you can't tell if this is real. Like, you can't tell if they actually drop her from this huge height or not. Because you have to do a wide shot. Oh my god. 
Yeah, I can't. I don't think that's real. I mean, I'm sure she died. Oh my god. Okay, so look up Busby Berkeley if you don't know who Busby Berkeley is. Because this is like that, except it's in the water. Look at this. Wait. I think I just noticed it was like all guys in it. Wait, how? No. Wow. Did they do this like by doing it in reverse? Like it was lit up and then it goes into the water? Because you can't do it the other way. What? 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 What just happened? Oh my god. I've seen Esther Williams clips before. Um, I think, well, I'm pretty sure she's featured in uh, MGM's documentary from the early 70s, That's Entertainment. Um, that's when MGM decided to go for nostalgia and put together a, one or maybe um, two different compilations of all the you know greatest hits um, from their musicals. Um, and then there was another one called That's Dancing. I don't think this was in that because it's, it's not dancing. It's like dancing, but not. <laughs> that said, although I've seen those clips and I've seen um, other clips, you know, on YouTube. One, I'm not sure I've seen this clip. And two... I'm positive I've never seen an entire Esther Williams movie. Maybe that's something I could react to. Just... <laughs> I mean, you're not going to be enjoying it for plot, I think. And I'm not sure if there's any singing in her movies. Um, there wasn't in this one. Um, and if there's singing, I sort of would be surprised if she's doing the singing because... How can you be that talented? That you're doing like stunt swimming and diving, looking beautiful, and then you can sing this and sing in the water? I don't know. So maybe I'll do that. Um, I'm sure it will be enjoyable, um, not just for all the musical numbers, but for all the general um, silliness that occurs in uh, these types of musicals. Same as, you know, Astaire and Rogers musicals. They're so fun, but the plot is not. <laughs> deep um it's really predictable and um you have to expect a lot of improbable things to happen um i would assume for ginger roger movies one of the improbable things is that the plot takes place in a pool um even though it's not a musical about a water what were they called a water i forget not water cascade but when you would just like uh, when you have like these ice skating shows where there's like a spectacular thing and it's like Disney on ice. So this would be like Esther Williams in the water. But if the movie was set in something like that, it would make sense. But if it's supposed to be like set in, I don't know, like a regular situation, how the heck did they move or, you know, make an excuse for her to be swimming all the time? Now... I don't know the answer to this question. Like I said, I probably need to do the video. But anyways, I hope everyone has enjoyed this. And um, I definitely encourage you to explore um, not just Esther Williams movies, but, you know, all the all the movies I'm going to bring up, um, all the classic Hollywood musicals. Um, some of them are more famous, um, and you might have seen them, or, you know, they're sort of in popular culture. And then there are ones like this, um, and like, you know, hundreds and hundreds of other ones that were sort of ground out at the time and people don't know about them now, but if you watch them, it blows your mind. I gotta do Busby Berkeley next.